Now at 5.30, a judge delayed the trial of a man charged with double murder and the killing of a Tequesta couple. Austin Harif is even accused of biting the face of one of the victims. This as we're learning new details about his mental state at the time of the killings. According to a state-appointed psychiatrist, Harif said he was seeing demonic having the demonic hallucinations, feeling like he was God and believing he was half dog, half man. CBS 4's Carly Barnett has more. The Palm Beach County man accused of killing a couple in a gruesome face biting attack was legally insane at the time. That is according to a forensic psychological exam. The five hour evaluation was done by Dr. Gregory Landrum, who was hired by the state. In reviewing his mental condition at the time of the attack, Landrum concluded the now 23 year old Austin Harif suffered an acute psychotic episode and that he was unable to distinguish right from wrong. Harif is charged with murder and attempted murder after police say in 2016 he brutally killed a couple with a machete outside of their home, attempting to eat the man's face and then attacked a neighbor who tried to save them. The just released 11 pages of findings in the evaluation reveal bizarre, frightening and dark delusions. Harif had no drugs in his system during the attack except THC, but the evaluation revealed a history of drug use, mostly Adderall and Vivance, but also mushrooms and cocaine. In the documents, Harif describes episodes of depression. And that summer of 2016, Harif reported he began to feel go, go, go and experienced some grandiosity and heightened self-importance. He also described paranoia at night and a heightened religiosity. He said he would see hallucinations of demonic things and could also hear God's voice. He recounts feeling Jesus-like, I had special abilities. He also believed he was half dog, half person. The day of the attack, Mr. Harif recalls putting on a Michael Vick jersey, which he believed the dog spirits told me to put on, and in doing so, felt invincible. That night, Harif was out to dinner with his father, where he felt time was standing still and like he was the grim reaper. He says he does not remember going to his mother's house and drinking vegetable oil, but recalls running to his father's house and hearing voices. Mr. Harif reports that he saw a figure which he perceived as having a white face and black clothes, and that frightened him. The report goes on to say he remembers having a machete in his hand and stabbing her, and it was like she was covered in darkness. He also remembers seeing a man and like he was glowing white. He recalled stabbing the man and biting him before waking up in the hospital. Right now, Harif is on medication and being treated for schizophrenia at the Martin County Jail. The doctor ultimately recommended that Harif be involuntarily admitted to a mental hospital if the court does rule him insane and says he does consider him a danger to either himself or others. That trial is scheduled for May. In the newsroom, Carly Barnett, CBS 4 News.